ओम सहना वबतु सहना भुनक्तु सह वीर करवा वहय तेजस्वीना वधी तमस्तु माँ विद्विषा वहय ही ओम शांति 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 ही हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम वसुदेव वसुत देव कंसचाणूर मर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु वर्स थर्टी टू ऑफ चैप्टर सिक्स सो थर्टी वन वॉज इंग्लिश ट्रांसलेशन वॉज ही हु बींग एस्टैब्लिश इन यूनिटी वर्शिप्स मी हु डवेल्स इन ऑल बींग दैट योगी अबाइड्स इन मी वॉट एवर बी हिज मोड ऑफ लिविंग so we went in detail these are the last few verses lord krishna is talking about the ultimate thing that happens in in meditation that you feel the oneness in the whole universe and you act from that perspective and he was just saying in verse 31 that the one who um worships me is almost like you know taking care of the world the whatever capacity we have that person no matter what he is doing he is always abides in me i am in him and he is in me so that's what we did and now the next verse which is the last in lord krishna's discourse on meditation before arjun start asking some few more questions and in this last verse what is happening is that he talked about so many different aspects of yogi you know so many different yogis you can say you know karma yogi um bhakti yogi and and jnana yogi so which yogi is the best one what is the definition of a best yogi if somebody wants to say it because we always want to know the bottom line that's how human nature is just tell me the bottom line you know so he's telling you the bottom line in this one what kind of yogi he considers the highest so let's see what he's saying in here so here is this verse 32 आत्मोपम्यन सर्वत्र समं पश्यति योर्जुन सुखम वादि वा दुखम स योगी परमो मत आत्मोपम्यन मीन्स थ्रू द लाइकनेस और सिमिलैरिटी वी वेन वी सी द सेम वननेस इन द होल वर्ल्ड सिमिलैरिटी ऑफ द सेल्फ दैट्स वॉट इट मीन्स हियर पर्टिक्युलरली सर्वत्र एवरीवेयर I have to just mute few people here. Sorry. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Some noises were coming. Okay, I could do that myself. Okay. Um, sarvatra everywhere. Samam is equally equality. Pashyati to see. Arjun or oh Arjun. Sukham is pleasure. Va and yadi. Uh, sorry uh, va is and yadi is if uh, va is or so either in sukh or in dukh that's what it means or yahan pain bola hai because you know pain also is a mental pain physical pain whichever way you want to look at it so is he yogi is yogi param is highest mata is regarded amana jata hai jaise hindi mein bolte hai na isko aisa mana jata hai so what is he saying over here so krishna bhagwan is saying according to me mere mat ke anusar kon he is the best yogi a supreme yogi who is a supreme yogi one who looks at the whole world as his own self that's the main point summarizing it no matter which path you are taking but this is the sabse jyada best yogi so even while interacting with the world and people we have to think of this it's not just you know oh i know this in my mind and that's it and i don't do anything but how i interact with the people that's the main thing over here so you know um delhi wale swami nikhilanand ji was explaining that what does it actually mean so 
it means that okay i want happiness and peace in my life and i want to be free from all the tr- trouble and all the violence and all the same way other people also have the same desire some of them may act like in a way that doesn't bring that result but inside they have the same desire you know even the guys who do the bad stuff there are some we messed up in their thinking that's why they but their desire is the same thing that i don't want any unhappiness i want peace and all that so um if we are looking at you know this yogi who looks at um himself as the entire world or the same he thinks that whatever i am that's how the other people are and he saying that that is a real basis of dharma when somebody says hey what is my dharma at the core of it that's what it is like compassion for the whole world that is the basis of the dharma so in in uh, christianity they say you know this is a very important sentence over there uh, do unto others what you like to do unto you kind of thing you know that's what is uh, in short this is what it means and then if you go deeper into it then we learn that everything comes from consciousness so everybody is made of the same material you know so our mind body and and uh, if you see the, the all the mind body equipment also made with the same panch mahabhutas and we know why the differences are there because of the gunas but the basic raw material is the same and of course that consciousness is the same so so if i understand this at a deeply that hey whatever is good for me uh, and for myself that is what is good for everybody so here he is not talking about some personal likes and dislikes huh? so we have to distinguish that kind of thing because personal like and i can just like i may like a certain kind of food i should not expect that the whole world should like that or you know pushing mo- my own uh, superficial likes and dislike down somebody's throat no that's not what they are talking about here at a deeper level we all are seeking happiness that's what they are talking about you know and uh, so just like i want to be free of all sorrow so do others so um fundamentally he's talking about that whatever is good for me is going to be good for all, everybody so and when you do see the difference in people be sure that you it's only at the bmi bmi is body mind and intellect level that there is a difference okay so that's how this um uh, realized master look at now you can see that how their vision is because they look at everybody as the same atma so such a yogi is called parama means he is established in own self and uh, if you are not established in your own self then you will see the different type of behaviors in the world you know when the mera tera ye wo you know some people may intellectually kind of know this but they are not established in it yet you know so then then it will express in in their behavior the the thing and so he's saying that um swami ji uh, nikhilanand ji said that people who are meditating and if they are following this path and if for some reason they don't get this proper understanding what krishna bhagwan is saying they will always look at the world with a sense of difference no matter how much you meditate so with the meditation is very important to get this understanding because krishna bhagwan ne ekdam thok baja ke bol diya yahan pe that this is the param yogi so this is a very very fundamental thing on in meditating um it's because the moment you know i think that i start seeing differences then that it it causes sense of division so if you want to get away from it then you have to go more towards the oneness um and and the other important th- point that he brought that sometimes you know when people are meditating and all that they are focused so much on themselves only oh i have to get this self realization and all that the whole world can <laughs> whatever happening they won't care they don't care you know and just focusing on that so here he is bringing the out that other aspect that you have to work on yourself as well as you have to when you are transacting with the world what you should be doing and that's why i think chinmayana ji used to always say the spirituality is a 24/7 job it's not just you know you do your little puja or do little do you know how you are behaving in the rest of the time you have to constantly be working on that too so um and the example that they gave uh, it's the same example but sometimes to bring out the same examples are also very important because then it sinks in the better the the whole concept 
So he's saying it's like my whole body. That, you know, I, I can, I'm taking care of my hands and I'm saying, I don't care about my legs. Somebody can come and beat it up or something. Just telling that how ridiculous when we don't see it from their perspective, okay? From, from the highest perspective, it's like uh, not understanding that the whole body is me. We find that ridiculous, but when the Mahatmas look at the whole world, that's how they look at it. You know, that different people are like as though different limbs of, of this universe. So uh, um, this is a very important thing. So in conclusion, what he's saying over here, the one who is established in the self, he looks at the whole world as his own self and he treats and interacts with the whole world as he would do it for, for himself. And such a yogi is a supreme yogi. So this is where he ends his discourse. And then Arjun is going to have a question. And his question is going to begin with like, okay, all of, whatever you're saying is very great. But I don't think it's practical. <laughs> because sometimes, you know, we also may, may have the same question that, Are, theory mein to bahut acha sound kar raha hai, magar kya, is it a long lasting thing? You know, very valid question. So we'll come to Arjun's question later. But anyway, any comment or question on this? I have a question. Yeah. Would a person have self-realization, would self-realize if he d just considers himself as his I want to be and not think of the others or anything else? Can there be self-realization? So I think that in the beginning, that may be totally fine, early stages. But as you progress, uh, you won't go too far if you don't consider the whole world. And it, it doesn't mean that, you know, everywhere you have to worry so much and get yourself sick about it. You know, like sometimes you hear too much news and uh, hey, you can do it at an individual level, whatever you can do you know, and be peaceful at it. It's not because sometimes some people take the whole, as the whole responsibility of the world. That's not what it's meant for because, you know, time and again, all these great um, Rishi Munis will tell you, if you improve yourself, you are improving a piece of the universe. And with right. your example, the vibrations are positive. Other people might, you know, I mean, look at this Gita class. We began with three people. And, you know, now there are so many. So if it's something valuable and good, uh, if you are doing it, automatically people will come and join you and it will get improvement. So uh, your question is like, a, um, there's no fixed answer for it. But in the beginning, you know, we have to focus on ourselves because we have to discipline ourselves. So from that perspective, but as you're progressing on this path, then it should become a 24 hour thing like Swamiji said. Because our teacher used to say, it's like, you know, 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. <laughs> you know, it's like, hey, when you have to deal with people, if you, if you forget that oneness and then you are just constantly, you know, um, having this huge differences in your head and mera, tera, ye sab, if you keep doing, then honestly, we are not progressing. So, okay. yeah. Can you real, self realize? I'm just saying yeah, that I am Brahman. If you have Tera Mira Hora, can you have that? I mean, I'm, to me, it's beyond. See, that's why Arjun, that's exactly what Arjun is saying. But is it practical? You know, it is one of those things, personally, I feel it's not an easy concept because you have to be very self critical, you have to be brutally honest with yourself. And slowly, slowly, you it, it sinks in more and more. You you probably will get less irritated with people. You will be more compassionate. You know, even simple things like on the road when you are driving, if somebody cuts in front of you, you're not going to get totally annoyed like before. All those are improvements because you are now you're thinking, hey, maybe that person has a problem today or something. You know, because just like I have, I have had, or you know, sometimes we. Perfect example is in, in our families, we expect everybody to be perfect, but we are not perfect ourselves. They are also humans, right? They, they also make mistakes or children or brothers and sisters. You'll be more. So that oneness will improve us and the world together. 
but it, it it's a journey a, i have a yeah. question yeah so my question is that it's easy to identify with most people and you know because we are all the same atma and all that and um, that's very easy but some people are just so consistently selfish and rude and everything else and i know you said that you know you have to see god in those people because it's easy to see god in in the good people you know that's fine but treat them as part of you know atma or whatever it is that part is so hard because you wonder i mean they don't respect you for you're trying to whatever to see good in them and they continue i mean it's just of course what do you do yeah. about such people so i think that actually i always get more inspiration from reading all these mahatmas eh, how they would have done it it's not easy to emulate them but it gives us encouragement you know like uh, if if somebody is rude to them how would they behave and and the most famous story they always share with the children is about the buddha and you must have heard of that story but it gives us lots of inspiration so there was this one man who was like started giving galis to buddha he did not appreciate anything buddha was doing and buddha would kept smiling and smiling and did not you know do unke jo chele the unko gussa raha tha they wanted him to get the hell out of there and, and not scream at him and and buddha did not get phased so so the chela said how come you don't get affected at all what do you have in you that we don't have it <laughs> please tell us so buddha said that when you are full with with joy and happiness which this yogi is supposed to have at the final stages it's not going to affect you whatever somebody is doing and the example he gave was if i am totally full like i'm ko khana khana ka matlab my i don't have, i'm not hungry because i ate a big meal and i'm full till here if somebody brings me a very delicious food i'm going to say i don't need it if somebody brings some really bad food i'm going to say i don't need it both ways so if somebody bring praise to me i don't need to get all inflated because i don't need that and if somebody is giving me galis i don't need to and then what happened with this man who was giving galis when he went to his home he is sleeping at night and he can't sleep because wo buddha ka chehra uske samne aa raha hai dum serene and beautiful and he said main itni gali de raha tha unko koi farak nahi pad raha tha what does he have that i don't have then he goes to buddha chele bhi puch rahe hain wohi baat buddha is also going over there and asking then and and then he this fellow changed now seeing the buddha so you know this story gives us inspiration that if somebody is doing something bad uh we don't need to get affected number one and then our what our teacher used to say that whatever that person has gone through in his their life that those circumstances may have made them like that if you were in that situation maybe you would have acted the same way see we don't think it that way it's very hard that and to, to think but uh if you actually have love and compassion in your heart according to all the saints and sages people will change we may not believe that but that's the that's the reality because you know usually bolte na ki if do haath se thali nahi bajti so if you back off they have nothing to be getting rude or upset yeah. about and then they, they, after a while their conscious wakes up so you know i don't know if that that made any sense but yeah how i would uh, look at it is if someone is not behaving uh, you know properly or whatever it is first of all as you said correctly we, we should not get affected second is you can pray for that person you know yeah that's and, a very you know, good that thing. god gives him that enlightenment and then he's able to rise up and then you know they stop that behavior yeah and, yeah and, and also see the yeah. whole world as a movie you know it's just a drama being played out so there is going to be good characters and there is going to be bad characters so that's how you take life you know you don't take it very seriously there are going to be always throughout the ages there are good people and bad people that can never be you can never have the world full of good people that's not possible right exactly yeah, yeah. and you know to me even we can pray for ourselves also 
hey, all these, because when, when something like that happens, uh, Miraji, we get negative feelings about them in our heart, right? Yeah, That's one of the that problems. Is, so I think we need to pray for ourselves. Hey, God, I have learned in my Gita class that I should not be having this negative. I am having it. Please help me. And I tell you, if you pray enough times, you will see that wo hamari gaant khul jayegi. Then you will be more like have a sympathy for that person in, a, in your heart. You know, you don't need to go and tell them. So you say, you know, poor thing. Aise bekar mein shor macha rahe hain, jal rahe hain, kuch bhi kar rahe hain, no? So, so praying for ourselves also helps a lot. So but Maji, what you said before about Buddha, uh -huh. that absolutely works. If mm -hmm. somebody is very nasty to you and you stay very calm and polite and loving, mm -hmm. I can guarantee you it will have some effect on that person. Yes. It, it and you know, sometimes, you know, in the families it happened, you know, we could... Uh, Unban ho gai kisi se samjho, okay? And then sabhi akad ke baithe hai ki, oh, I'm, I'm not going to talk. And but if you let go, yeah. that person is waiting to talk to you. <laughs> so they just, you know, if you let your ego go, I tell you it works. You are absolutely right. If you have to experiment and try, and it'll work. And, and yeah, for that no, Buddha no, it's not that. It's just that their nature is so, what should I say, lacking in compassion or selfish or manipulative and they don't realize it yeah they, so they just think it's not our problem them. right they have to in a sense they will wake up one day you just pray for them for that they also wake up and uh, nobody is fixed in in human life like this ki bhai wo selfish hai to wo eons tak selfish hi rahega you know uski bhi ek journey hai so, so we have to give a benefit of doubt to the other person too. Hey, he will also wake up one day. If not in this janma, maybe another one. We don't know. And hopefully in this janma. But just uh, nobody is fixed like that in selfishness. Because like the saints and sages say, our pure nature is love and compassion and all those good things are. That is our nature. We all want that. But somehow what has happened in their life and all. And in this Buddha story, there's uh, one more very important point that Buddha ne ye bhi bola apne chelon ko ki agar koi tumko koi ek present deta hai aur tumko nahi chahiye to kiske paas jata hai wo present to bola jisne jo de raha hai uske paas chala jayega to bola usne gaali di maine li nahi to usi ke paas chali gayi these are simple things but we don't think about it you know maine accept hi nahi kiya yeah sorry who is speaking me isn't it fair oh. that if people are toxic you know they are toxic it's not your responsibility to help them you just need to sometimes walk away without trying to change them see if we are not strong enough yes we should stay away true the saints and sages they don't distinguish they don't wo koi gali de koi kuch bhi kare wo usko fir bhi help karenge usi ko saint bola jata hai hum log ke jaise hum log wahan pahunche nahi hai abhi so if, if in the beginning you have to create that fence, it's legitimate. So that's why in our Shastras, they have hey, three ways you can treat the people. Indulge with them, be indifferent, or, you know, help them. Now you decide where you stand in that. You know, it's like uh, these psychiatrists and counselors. No matter what patient comes to them, they don't say, hey, I can't treat you. They are not supposed to. <laughs> you know? Hey, whatever tools I have, I'll try to help you. You know, those are like saints and sages. So, hum log abhi nahi hai. and if something is ruining your own psyche to that extent, you can be. But remember one thing, Niluji, there are some people we can't stay away from in our families. <laughs> you know, uh, friends, ko chalo. bye bye, bol do. nobody care. But family gatherings and all that, you are going to come across everybody and you'll have to deal with this. Better to learn how to deal and then. How much can we avoid? Okay. Any other thing? Any I was just going to comment that why do all these uh, people who are meditating, they run to the hills, go in the mountain and spend all time alone? Because they don't want to get interactive with the world. Yeah, but Krishna Bhagwan kind of, uh, 
he's not saying that that path is not good but he actually wants people to come back and help others that's a big thing in bhagavad gita that uh, you know you got your highest thing and now be compassionate because you, it, it, that is the ultimate and, and sometimes you know they may not come themselves but they send their chelas which is as good kisi ko train karke tum bhejo like vivekanand ji was you know trained by ramkrishna paramahansa or uh, our gurudev was trained by his guru to send he, his yeah, guru yeah ramdev baba also went to the hills to meditate yeah. but then when he met his guru he said no tumhara kaam hai you know karm karm in yeah, jana right, 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 so right. then he started teaching yoga and you know that was his yeah. mission yeah exactly and ramdev baba ko kitna सुनना पड़ता है कितना अपोजिशन ये वो पीपल यू नो कि ये ही इज डूइंग बिजनेस एंड ऑल दैट एंड समबडी वाज सेइंग टू मी एंड आई सेड आप लोगों को बर्दाश्त नहीं हो रहा है कि वो जो भी काम करते हैं वो उसमें वो सक्सेसफुल हो जाते हैं यू नो पीपल बिजनेस पीपल गेट वेरी अपसेट एंड जेलस ऑफ हिम ए ही इज दैट काइंड ऑफ पर्सन व्हाटएवर ही पुट्स हिज हैंड ऑन इट जस्ट डज अ गुड जॉब यू नो एंड रोमन जी टू जोस पॉइंट पीपल गो टू caves and mountains where in they are in the process of self realization because they don't want any disturbances out from that's outside that's okay that's okay yeah once they self realize mm-hmm. then they can go anywhere and get not get affected right yeah. right right exactly and you know all these some of these uh, swamis and all who are there in the gufas after their self realization you know, people do go and visit them and they give them the gyan and and that's what i'm saying it's not like they have told oh koi milo hi nahi mujhse <laughs> you know if somebody no, wants to go transition. see them yeah yeah when yeah. they go there in transition mm-hmm. right once they have accomplished then uh, they do what their assignment is yes. correct correct and so uh, somebody's assignment may be not help anybody but <laughs> yeah no and you know our teacher used to say that people who are actually meditating in the gufa they are spreading the positive vibration in fact they are the one holding this universe together or at least our earth you know ne to yahan par itne sare wo kya bolte hain nuclear weapons hain ki ek kisi ne dabaya hum sab khatam ho jayenge you know but is saying that wo isse nahi daba rahe hain because those guys are meditating we don't think about it that way somebody say oh what is he doing nothing that's not true when somebody is actually connecting to the higher is spend, spreading a positive vibration that we may not even know about it but we are benefiting you know so th- there are so many aspects that come out when we study vedanta that uh, that's why we don't need to judge anybody what they are doing but hey the reason krishna bhagwan is saying there are those two kind of people and arjun's personality was such is better off doing karma yoga and helping the world and i think we kind of fit in those categories agar humko gufa mein jana hota na तो कब के चले गए होते अब तब तो पर वी आर नॉट द काइंड सो माइट एज वेल सो आई थिंक वंस यू फिक्स योरसेल्फ लाइक यू बिकम देन यू नो व्हाट हैज टू बी डन यस यस इट कम्स टू यू एज पार्ट ऑफ दैट यू नो यस एब्सोल्युटली यस या बट आई फील समटाइम्स इट्स इजियर जो गुफा में भाग जाते हैं दे डोंट हैव टू डील विद द वर्ल्ड नो आपको लगता है किसी ने बोला कि गुफा में जाके बैठ के दिखाओ हम लोग दस मिनट भी नहीं बैठ पाएंगे कभी बिच्छू आएगा कभी सांप आएगा <laughs> खाना भी नहीं कोई कोई का आपको मिठाई नहीं मिलने वाली है खाना नहीं मिलने वाला अपन योगी नहीं है ना इसलिए तो अपन बुराई देखते लोगों में या अपने को लगता है अपने भगवान देखेंगे यू नो ग्रास लुक्स ग्रीनर ऑन द अदर साइड ऑफ द हमारी टीचर बोलती थी पांच दो घंटा बैठ के दिखाओ मुझे कोने में गुफा में बैठने चले हम लोग थिंक अबाउट इट यू नो so it's dusre ka kaam bahut aasan lagta hai magar hai nahi itna aasan actually we are in the best position we should not grumble these are minor things compared to what the rishi space you know yeah i think that no, shreen no, is I'm right i'm not i'm not complaining or grumbling i'm just trying to understand how to jo gita mein main seekh rahi hu usko kaise 100% implement kiya jaye that's my no answer. you are doing that's a very right thing because you are bringing all these see what when you bring a question everybody benefits so it's not just uh, that hey why did you bring this question no i'm so glad you brought it up because then it makes us think about it because otherwise lagta hai na ki sabse pehle hota hai ki 
ओ यू नो सब छोड़ छाड़ के ना साधु बन जाओ सोच सिंपल बिकॉज सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन भी मिल जाएगा एंड एंड द आयरनी इज दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट अर्जुन वांटेड टू डू इसे ये स्यापा करने की जरूरत क्या है मुझे आई वांट आई वांट टू गो एंड कृष्ण भगवान ने उसको पकड़ के बिठाया नो यू कैन नॉट बिकॉज इट्स एग्जैक्टली सेम थिंग दैट ही वाज थिंकिंग दैट इट्स अ इजीयर पाथ बट व्हाट कृष्ण भगवान इज ब्रिंगिंग इन द गीता इज व्हाट एवर योर माइंड इज मेड अप ऑफ वर्क फ्रॉम देयर and go to the path so you don't need to go against your own nature it's like you know you take a sailboat in the ocean and the sailboat has to go where the wind is blowing right it cannot go opposite will be too much trouble it can you have to put a motor in it and then it will so the you know put a motor but if you want to go easy sail then take your nature whatever it is and i will show you how to reach the the highest that's what he's telling you Okay, who's who's going to read? Any volunteers? Okay, Meera ji, you are on. <clears throat> He who, through the likeness, sameness of the self, O Arjuna, sees equality everywhere, be it pleasure or pain, he is regarded as the highest yogi. true meditators well established in their intellectual understanding and spiritual experience intuitively recognize the divine presence immanent in everything such men of perfection see in all activities the glory of the self and understand their own bodily functions as nothing but the grace of the self for them there is no experience but of the divine everything experienced in the gross world outside and in the subtle realm within is nothing but an emanation from the eternal self it is a pity that such an obvious stanza in the most sacred scripture of the hindus is so carelessly overlooked by our pundits so see the reason i think maybe what swami ji is saying making that comment because Do, people do so much khatpat in the world you know ye puja karo wo karo to improve and all that and here he is giving you a, a simple way how to elevate yourself you know that's what it, it is one important thing and here the certain things you know like intuitively the divine presence eminent in everything you know so it's like when you are closing your eyes and connecting to the higher so that's why closing the eyes i'm connecting to the higher when i open my eyes i have to stay connected that's what he's telling you that see bhagwan in everything and because we have not finished the entire gita you will see that when we come to chapter 10 and 11 that's exactly what is going to be revealed that everything that you see it cannot exist without consciousness at the core of it there is consciousness that's why you see it everywhere you know it's like the ocean you know if i don't suppose somebody doesn't know that h2o is the substance of the ocean then they will see the waves and the foam and water and think that all three are three different things or something but one once you know that then hey the whole entire ocean is h2o something like that he's talking about say keeping that awareness alive you know when we are transacting with the world that's what he's talking about the educated class has come in uh, has come to glorify the philosophy of simpler scriptures in the world because the priests in them are intelligent enough to emphasize the fundamental social rules which their religion insist upon of all religions in the world hinduism alone is neglecting to emphasize the scriptural quest, uh, quotations which prescribe our social duty and laws of communal living here is a stanza which in the midst of a discussion upon the highest philosophical truth declares the individual's duty towards others in the society in its elaborate implications this stanza is an exhaustive commentary upon the primary biblical instruction love thy neighbor as thyself 
सी कितना अच्छे से बताया एंड आई रिमेंबर मीरा जी यू आर द वन वन टाइम यू वी हैड अ डिस्कशन हे इन अदर रिलीजन इट सीम्स सो सिंपल वाई अवर रिलीजन इज सो डिफिकल्ट ये आपके लिए है ये एक्चुअली उन्होंने सेम बात बोली है मगर सब भूल गए उस बात को बिकॉज यू नो वट अदर पीपल अदर रिलीजन है मे बी मे बाई डूइंग टेन कमांडमेंट वट एवर देर सिंप्लीफाई डेट एंड एवरीबडी फॉलो दैट एंड यू विल गेट देयर यू नो अपने में थोड़ा कॉम्प्लिकेट बिकॉज इट्स सच ए एंशियंट कल्चर एंड सो मेनी आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ देयर बट द स्पिरिचुअलिटी बिगिनस विथ विथ एग्जैक्टली दिस दैट यू नो वट इज योर यू नो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टूवर्ड्स अदर पीपल एंड दिस लव दाई नेबर अवर टीचर यूज टू से You know, you can say, "Oh, I see oneness in the whole world. I do all that intellectually." If there's a neighbor, co, co, problem, ho, ya, usko koi help chahiye, and you're not doing it, and you angry and jealous at him or whatever, then you you are not believing in that at all. Because only with the neighbors and friends and relatives and people that we know, our behavior shows, and we have the chance to improve it. You know, udhar kya ho raha hai? You know, ten thousand miles away. I cannot do anything, but whatever around me, I can do. That's where you know my practice can begin. That's what he's mainly is bringing it to. The highest yogi, according to the Gita, is one who feels the pains and joys of others as intimately as if they were his own. The famous ethical rule: Do unto others as you would be done by. in itself is a most unpleasant instruction to the average man because in his selfishness he is easily tempted to ask why after all he should consider others as himself the uninitiated would naturally be tempted to follow the unethical ways of life in his instinctive selfishness so we know this that shuru shuru mein wo सेल्फिशनेस बहुत अच्छी चीज़ लगती है कि भाई आई मी एंड माइन आई हैव टू जस्ट वरी अबाउट माई साफ यू नो मुझे मिल जाए सब कुछ वैक्सीनेशन सिर्फ मुझे मिल जाए और समथिंग यू नो आई एम जस्ट ब्रिंगिंग दैट आप बिकॉज दैट वॉज अ इशू बट इज सेंग दैट यू नो अनलेस वी सी द पेन्स एंड जॉयज ऑफ अदर्स एज आर ओन यू आर द स्पिरिचुअलिटी कैन नॉट गो फर्दर दैट्स ऑल इज सेंग दैट यू नो इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट दिस whole thing uh, you have to get out of little bit your selfishness to to appreciate this because it's one of those things that if uh, you are unselfish like i said that the entire world is also little bit changing <laughs> you know because you are part of it it's hard for us because we we find it so minuscule and like somebody was saying that when you put a drop in the ocean it affects the whole ocean right it's going in that hole so any kind of goodness and all that it does have a big in implication we may not feel it but it's the truth the previous few stanzas explained why one should love one's neighbors the yogi after his experience of the self comes to recognize the whole world as nothing but himself and whether one should love or not love or not one's own right leg is no problem at all for anyone in the world all the limbs and parts of one's body are equally sacred to an individual because one can easily experience one's own intimate identity with all the different parts of the body If your tongue were to be accidentally bitten by your own teeth you would never think of punishing the teeth for the crime they had done for you pervade equally in both the tongue and the teeth having realized the self when i come to feel everywhere the presence of me as the self everywhere the whole universe of names and forms becomes for me the one integrated form in which at all places and at all times i alone am i think this example of how we feel towards our body is a excellent one there's not no better example can be because we it really touches the core of it that's how uh, the the saints and sages who are self realized look at the world and i see some of them you know like 
Sri Sri Ravi Shankar is such a beautiful example of that, that how he wants to help everybody. And, you know, I would just, I will post that one conversation I heard with him talking very, very nice. He brought out so many different things. And he said, even if you take the most hardened criminal, this is, these are his words, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar's. He's saying there is a small child sitting in him waiting to come out. <laughs> Means, you know, how much compassion he looks at them that, they also, you know, for the world will say, Isko punish karo, wo karo. true. Nobody's saying that if he has done something wrong, he should. But he doesn't have that kind of hatred that a lot of people develop towards him. Because he actually wants to make him a better human being. Because he sees that. I think those are such, such touching things that you see even in today's world. That there are saints and sages, you know. And that famous example I, I gave of Chinmayananji, that when he was giving a discourse, this homeless type of man walked in with a beer bottle in his hand and sabhi log itna chid rahe the usko nikalo yahan se aur unhone bola nahi isko mere paas bithao and then he later on he kind of got upset with his own chelas and he said this fellow needs me the most so why are you pushing him out from here you know so they they are looking at it so differently than us because of this exactly same thing we we have a hard time but little bit we can we can start you know, remembering and, and trying to bring in our own life. Such an individual who has in his realization come to feel the entire universe as his own form, he is called a true yogi by the singer of the celestial song. In short, a seer of self-realization instinctively becomes a divinely compassionate man producing in the society more than what he consumes and creating in the community much more than what he destroys during his lifetime. Love is his very breath, kindness is very sustenance. So beautiful, no? Swamiji really puts in a poetic form. And that's why, because that person has no selfishness. Because he doesn't say, oh, for me, me and mine. He just wants to, you know, we all, when we come on this earth, no matter who we are, we consume things. <laughs> we, we know, we take from the earth, from people, everything. But this fellow is producing more than what he consumes. That's one of our pledges also that we do in Jinnaya Mission, you know. Meena Ji and Sushil Ji know. So, um, but it's very beautifully put. That's why, because he has no selfishness. So he just does keep doing, doing, doing. He never asks, hey, what is in it for me? You know, <laughs> Because it's it's like, me doing it for my own body. I never ask, hey, what is in it for me? I'm just doing it instinctively, you know, whatever is good for my body. In this concluding the description of a perfect yogi, sorry, in thus concluding the description of a perfect yogi with a word picture of the perfect man's attitude to life and his relationship with the world outside, no doubt the eagerly listening student gets extremely fascinated. Yet Arjuna, a practical man of the world, immediately discovers his incapacity to attain the goal pointed out here. And therefore, the Pandav prince raises his own doubts in the form of a question. And that's the next. Yeah, verse. so here, Miraji, you are not the only one. And here, Arjuna is the one who had read all the Shastras. Okay, so <laughs> we have this is too high five Baba, how am I going to do? But Krishna Bhagwan is, is there for us to give an answer, and that's why Arjun's questions are so pertaining to us because they are our questions only. That's exactly the same question come to us. So yeah, that's more comforting. Yes. Even if Arjun still has questions, then it's okay if I have questions. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. See, now, that's the beauty of our Shastras, that it never discourages questions. And, okay. uh, you know, so we don't need to feel, ki, oh, why that? It is, and in fact, they say that's better because as your question get cleared, you know, by, and or this, that's why they made this into this conversation style. You know, so much is so popular because... Arjun represent exactly our what our condition is in the world. So, ye, ye pura discourse dene ke baad, you know, 
देर इज अ जोक ऑल्सो ना पूरी रामायण पूरा हो गई सीता कौन है <laughs> और अगर नहीं समझ में आया इट्स बेटर टू आस्क सो बट आई दीज क्वेश्चन आर वेर आई मीन वी इन इन आवर जिनमिया मिशन गेव अ लॉर्ड ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंस टू दिस क्वेश्चन सो आई कैन एक्साइटेड अबाउट नेक्स्ट टाइम एन अर्जुन इज दिस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लाइक अ जनरल बट उसके बाद वाला तो और भी इम्पोर्टेंट है and i have already talked about it many times or when we read and kind of go deep into it it'll be really very very good because it give it will give us tips how to not get discouraged in it because it's not that easy to sit down and you know try to meditate and then see oneness in the world because bahut jaldi hamara hum log sochte hain oh yeah now i'm ready i'm ready to take on the world fir koi aake banda khada ho jayega apne samne usko lagta hai ki ek ghusa lagao because he's so mad you're so mad at him. फिर सारी स्पिरिचुअलिटी हवा हो जाएगी बिकॉज देन वी विल नो दैट वेयर वी स्टैंड इन रियालिटी यू नो बिकॉज दिस इज समथिंग इंटरनल जर्नी राइट वी डोंट नीड टू शो ऑफ टू एनी बडी दैट वर्ड एंड देन यू विल यू नो नो आई गॉट अ वर्क मोर ऑन माई सेल्फ यू नो सो दैट्स वॉट इट इज इट्स इट्स अ टफ वीडियो गेम दैट वी हैव टू प्ले बट स्टिल अ गेम because of uh, umati because we have walked one path the entire life and now we are trying to change the way we walked before yes that's another thing and you know what it's not even entire life is many lives that's what you know like when we used to say oh and our our teachers to remind us it's not this life many it's got we got jaded into it you know competition selfishness all these things you know and if you don't think about these things those things look very normal right but uh, you know like uh, when here because we are in a smaller town in san diego there is a lot of difference in cer- certain things like if you go to new york or i don't know about la so much because but new york i have spent some time there so i know houston is a bigger city too people are not that kind of kind on the street and all that here people will wait for you to cross and you know they'd come to help you and you see that you know a little bit of compassion you know they I'm, i'm sure they're also in a hurry but they will wait for you to cross and you know they people can tell you about la or my but my i was dropping my daughter to ucla mm-hmm. one time ago mm-hmm. and i was the first person to take a left turn in the light turn green in one nanosecond six people hounded me <laughs> yeah here <laughs> I live in San Diego. Right. So if I tell. Mm-hmm. For a second, I mean, if the light was turning green, I had to be traveling right away. Correct. So, so you know, in in that's where you know those kind of competition, and I want to be the first, and all is very normal uh, behavior. And you know, it it's so. But I guess we have to wait and think. Well, I've been lucky enough to live only in San Diego for the last. what 35 36 years um might have visited other places but i can tell you the kind of politeness and courtesy and kindness you see in people in san diego i have not seen that anywhere in the world anywhere in the world not this, in india not anywhere i think it it has lot of uh, spiritual elements and you know the the nature is so beautiful and all that maybe that keeps people calm there not hordes of people everywhere we got you know, on the beaches also even on the most crowded days there is enough room for everybody on the beach because the coast is so big it's, it's a, we are very very lucky to so, kisi ko spirituality practice karni hai bhagwan ne bahut achhi jagah bheja hai you know true so we should be very thankful okay any other uh, thing about today's verse uh, comment question anyone wants to add anything okay then i'll close bhagavad gita here sarva dharman parityajya mame kam sharanam vraja aham tva sarva papebhya moksha ishami mahashu cha hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om